One of the new features of Plant 3D 2018 is the addition of the instrumentation palette. We can now add instrumentation to our piping models by selecting the instrument type from the dynamic tool palette and placing it in the piping runs. Let's go ahead and open drawing 0506 piping. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of instrumentation just on the line up on top of our exchanger here. So what we've got to do is look over on our tool palette here. So you're familiar with the dynamic piping spec. We have our pipe support specs, and we also have a new addition on 2018, which is instrumentation. So what we're going to do is take a look at the different types of instrumentation that we have here, and just to place a couple on these lines. So let's start by placing a flow meter. So we only have two options. We have a 150 pound or 300 pounds. So I'm going to just come down and check this line and it's 150 pounds, so that's the one I'm gonna take. And it's just placement exactly like we do with a valve. We just drop that on the line. If you have an exact placement, you can use your dynamic input. And if not, just drag and drop, and it'll assume that center line position on the piping. When we're working with the pressure gauges, look at the different types of connections that we have here. So in this case, I'm gonna look for just one of these threaded pressure gauges. So first thing we have to do is create the branch connection for this. I'm gonna do a little different here. I'm gonna come up to our spec viewer and I'm gonna to look to see the different types of OLEDs that we have. I'm gonna place this using a 3000 pound threadlet. I'm gonna click on threadlet here and I'm gonna scroll down to see what we have as options for six inch. So we're looking for six inch by one inch and we want this to be the female connection here. So this looks like the one we want. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to say insert this in the model. Now I can place this anywhere on the pipe I want, again using my dynamic input if I want perfect placement. I'm not going to really worry about this, we're not going to keep this, I'm just going to place it on the pipe and orient my UCS north or up and we have our connection here. So we have a six, a six by one inch. So I'm gonna come across and look at our pressure gauges here. So I'm gonna grab this threaded male. We're working with the threaded female connection. So I'm gonna grab, grab the threaded male pressure gauge and we're gonna drop that into that connection. And we can rotate that whatever way we like so based on how we want access to the gauge itself. So it's fairly straightforward. Uh, we can also do this with threaded connections. Uh, we can do this with some flange connections as well. And we would work that sort of the same way. So I'm going to insert this in the model. I'm going to place this up. And instead of just using a, a regular threaded connection, I'm just going to run a little bit of pipe here. I'm just going to do like a, like a little three inch stub of pipe here. And I'm going to come back to our piping spec. And I'm going to come down to flange. And I'm going to just quickly place the socket welded flange on the end of this pipe. I erase the mating flange here because we're going to use that from the instrument spec. And then I'm going to come around here and we're going to grab one of the flanged instrument specs here. And I'm going to pop that onto our flange that we've placed in our model. And you'll notice that it has set that up complete with bolts and gaskets. So that's a completely complete connection that we have there. So this feature right now is, is very simple. It's the first release, but it is spec driven. And what you see here is just the out-of-the-box components. Once you start working with Plant 3D, your project administrators can add more instruments to the spec to suit your client needs.